So if you are going to take just one supplement for your headaches, it should be magnesium. And the reason is that there's just so much more data to support its use. So let's take a look at the use of magnesium, both preventively, where you take it every day, and also acutely in high doses. It's actually been used in the ER quite a bit to take migraines away acutely. All right, so here's our first study about magnesium in migraine. This is a systematic review. They looked at 204 different studies and found five really good ones. And they concluded the, in this last line here, prophylactic treatment of migraine by means of high levels of magnesium dicitrate, 600 milligrams, seems to be a safe and cost-efficient strategy. Now, I do differ with them on one thing here, which is the use of magnesium dicitrate because magnesium citrate and dicitrate it's basically a laxative. And so if you're not getting that magnesium absorbed into your body, how can it possibly do you very much good? It can't. And also it's a very bothersome side effect. So we don't want that. So I would actually recommend that you use one of the chelated forms of magnesium. And all that word means is that your magnesium is bound to something that your body will absorb. So magnesium glycinate is my favorite formulation. I recommend a dose of 400 to 500 milligrams a day. If you have kidney failure, definitely don't use that much. As with all supplements, you should check with your doctor before you start anything. Sometimes you might have a little bit of stomach side effects as you're getting used to it. If that happens to you, just take it with food. So what about using magnesium acutely to make a bad headache go away? Well, there's actually really interesting data on using magnesium by IV in the emergency room. Here's a review of using intravenous magnesium sulfate to treat acute headaches in the emergency department. So they looked at 4,000 different references and found seven that met their criteria. And I would like to draw your attention to this last line here. The existing evidence indicates potential benefits in pain control beyond one hour, or a duration, and the need for rescue analgesia. That's pretty good data for something that's super safe, super cheap, and has so many benefits for our body. So why does magnesium work? It's through a couple of different mechanisms, actually. The first is that it reduces something called substance P, P for pain, you can think of it, right? So it cuts down on this pain-generating chemical that is uh, going on in the brain when you're having a migraine. The other thing that magnesium is doing is it's basically stabilizing the overfiring that is happening in your brain during a migraine. So there's a neurotransmitter called glutamate that is what we call an excitatory neurotransmitter. It makes everything go and magnesium settles that down. You can imagine how that would be helpful for the kind of overexcited state of migraine. If you can settle that down, then you can definitely help the brain out. The other effect that it has is that it stabilizes blood vessels, which is probably why it's good for aura. We think of aura as being a time when our blood vessels, instead of being steady like this, are kind of going wonky. There's called vasospasm. They constrict, they dilate, that kind of stuff. And so magnesium stabilizes that process as well. That is probably why it is effective for treatment of auras. So hope that helps everybody. Again, if you're going to choose one supplement, magnesium is the one.